I say, ah, since our baby is not your daddy, we yeah, are. I will let take it back. Ah, which one is if you continue to suck? Have I been sucking it? Yes, now. Yes, then number Damn. one, hide your breast. Hide your breast. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Babajide Adenuga, also known as Don Witty. I'm a comedian, radio host, event host, compare, and of course, I'm a father. This is my YouTube channel, The Fabulous Father. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you are viewing us for the very first time, don't, don't forget to like this page, comment, drop your comments for us, and share. And don't forget, please subscribe. It's very important. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I've missed you guys uh, since the last post I dropped. Uh, it has really been awesome. I've gotten so much comments, so much feedbacks from different people, and I've been so, 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 so happy that you guys are always there to give us feedbacks to tell us uh, how you feel about our content. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys don't go anywhere. We have something hot for you this time around. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Thank you very much for staying tuned, ladies and gentlemen. So straight to the point today, I just want to share with you my experience. We just weaned our baby. And by the time you're watching this video, I'm sure uh, the the winning process will have been complete or over. So I'm going to first of all we have a very special guest <laughs> on this show today, and uh, she's a shy person. Um, but don't worry, I've given her one or two ginger so that she can speak because we are going to be talking about our own experience. That is my wife, so she will be joining us, telling us about her experience on how. We will discuss basically on how we were able to win our baby and then she also tell us our uh, experiences, you know, the body changes she experienced and some psychological whatever, whatever and so on and so forth. So ladies and gentlemen, in the next few minutes, joining me will be my beautiful wife, my darling wife, my scrupulous wife. I don't know if you can find that in the dictionary. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, make welcome with a loud round of applause, another fabulous mommy, <laughs> Mrs. Don Witty. How are you? I'm fine. How is everything? Fine, fine. Hope you are good. Hope you are good. Uh -uh. <laughs> are you not my wife? You don't know if I'm good, I am no good. <laughs> oh, well, so what do you want to say then? Okay, so um, basically, we want to share our experience that we were able to win our baby and um, the strategy we used was to take her to grandma's place yes, at, yes. Uh, during the easter period you know yes. we use one stone to keep two beds yes, you yes. understand uh -huh. yes. because um our cousins were going to be around in grandma's place and we looked at it like okay it would be a nice time for her to just go you know she will meet other other cousins of us smaller children i mean younger children to play with so uh, we used the opportunity to take Winner, her down. Yes. yes. So um, we actually had a debate. I told my wife that we should win her when she's a month, um, a year and uh, two months old. My wife said no, that she wanted a year and six months. Yes. Right? So yes. can you tell us why? Why did you want a year and six months? I just because of the emotion. I think well, I think I just I just feel if I extend the duration she will be fine like no sickness and then who will approve that uh, but she has never been sick too before uh, doesn't matter at least so i heard not that so i heard Seb. i read it okay. that when you breastfeed very well the brain then the child's health will be perfect and also uh, largest thing no we did Six months exclusive for her breastfeeding. Okay. And I think I think uh, I think I was emotionally attached to. I should not lie because you know, looking at her, that ah, I'm just going to stop breastfeeding like that. You know, mm -hmm. so kind of I'm pitying her. Like you just stop her all of a sudden. Okay, so so that's from her angle want. a woman will always put emotions into everything they do but if you need to if you look at it logically 
uh, a time will come when you breastfeed, a time will come when you stop. Do you understand? Because, okay, fine. Let me ask you this question. The breastfeeding and all that, was it affecting your own, your job, your career? You, you're a fashion designer. Yes. So how do you uh, manage the breastfeeding with sewing clothes, cutting clothes, measuring clients, whatever? It wasn't easy, to be sincere. At all, it wasn't easy. Well, you know, I would have to... I will have to breastfeed her daytime, sometimes in the afternoon, even before she even started. Even at night now? At night, uh -huh. that one is That's, 2 for 7. Now, let's talk about that one now. That one is 2 for 7. You know me? <laughs> me. At night, when I sleep, I'm, I've slept. Okay? Yeah. When I wake up is when I wake up. But okay, my wife, sometimes in the middle of the night, you know, I will hear the baby crying maybe like 3 to 4 times, she will wake up. And then yes. you breastfeed us yes. three to four times. Yes. And somebody has been doing that for one year. A whole one year. Uh -uh. Wait till the baby wants again. I'm already getting everything. used to it. I, okay. think, I think I'm already getting to, used to it. Even now that she's not here, sometimes I wake up. Oh. I'll hey. wake up. That I'll time that like, you wake up now. Your mother is not here. Okay, now I'll sleep back. <laughs> that time that you woke up now, why didn't you also wake me and say, ah, since our baby is not your daddy, oh yeah, how will I do take that it back? <laughs> Then, no, you know, remember, I'm trying to win now, so okay, you must so not stop. If you continue to suck, that means when she comes back, now she will. Ah, which one is if you continue to suck? Have I been sucking it? <laughs> yes, <before>? now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <have you? laughs> All right, so uh, back to the second uh, major question I wanted to ask. Okay. Can you tell us? some of the body changes that you experienced and then like maybe psychological effects that the winning process you know had on you well the first thing is um the day i dropped out i didn't even feel anything but the second day when i woke up um, my breast it was times two if not times three safe and it was so hard so spinning me i had to start taking prastamol some people recommended using cabbage and all but i was like let me Wait, how do you use the cabbage like you remove the back of the cabbage you rinse it and okay. place it around your breast inside your bra you, yes you put okay. it inside the bra then um at least you reveal your nipple yes it must not cover the nipple okay. but that one is by the way i didn't even use it that second day at all i didn't use it i was just taking prastamol morning afternoon and night so and i was feeling a bit headache i was having headache so then what again i think I, then i continue I, I were you continue having any body pains no no body pain nothing nothing were you feeling so dizzy at all at all i was myself i was even working i even so that you know okay happened. so but the third day ah, it was really painful especially at night ha ah, ah, i had to go and use that cabbage that i bought <laughs> that i didn't i didn't use the other day so i had to rinse it you know place it the way i've already said then after that i didn't really see much difference when i used that thing at first but one thing i noticed is that a few hours later i realized that i was not feeling much pain like before then the next day hmm. which was the third day yeah, i was already much better so right now so when you say much better you're just feeling all those things slightly the headache slightly the yes, pain. yes i was feeling those things yes just slightly not yes, much okay yes then i realized that the breast started coming down okay it's it's coming coming down. Down. yes so it's even coming down now okay. <laughs> so right now this is today yes. is the okay today is the fifth day yes fifth yes. day but the relief started yesterday Oh, okay. Which was so the, from the fourth day. Fourth day okay, now so right. my next question is this: Now that she's coming back very soon, because we are just dropping out just for six days, all right? Yes. So what's your plan? I didn't tell them sure. that I missed my baby. Ha! Huh? The day I dropped my baby, wow! I cried. I recorded myself. I was like, no, I can't I just. You. You, I also did. I did okay. because I was like, how would I be crying? I tried to hold myself, but I cried. It wasn't easy, no. Then when I got home, I started watching videos every time. I'll carry my Which phone. Which videos are you watching? All the videos are recorded now. Okay, so of ah, yeah, yes, watching of videos her, of yes. Okay. yes, I started watching. You know, I will laugh, smile, I'll play, have my baby. Uh -huh. But the first night, I had to hold my pillow tight. Mm. 
had to walk my pillow. So, all right, we know you miss your baby. I yes. also miss my baby. Yes. Uh, moving forward, how? What are your plans to ensure that when she gets back? Okay. She doesn't continue breastfeeding since we are trying to stop her or to win her. So what what, what are your plans? Well, one thing because I, I know, heard, sorry sorry to chip uh, to interject. I heard some people used to put pepper on their nipple I don't, or they I put don't, a bitter leaf I don't, I'm not so that the that. baby will not. So I'm what not are your going plans? To do that my plans is that okay. What I will do is that um, when she's back, I will try not to wear. A clothes that will be revealing, probably showing my breast or something. So I will not let her even see the breast. You want to hide I will, your breast? Yes, I will have to hide. Please learn, number then, one, hide your breast, hide your breast. <laughs> then the another thing I'm going to do is that okay, for the first two nights or so or three, I will I will let her sleep on my husband's side of the bed, you know, so that she will not have to tap me or wake me up to breastfeed her or something like that you guys so that when she wakes up at the middle of the night because yeah, i don't think she will even wake up at the middle of the night i think you, she's now sleeping i get everywhere. yes so but in case let's just we we'll have to do that that one is the then daytime i'll take her back to crutch you know when we wake up Okay, and now, Seb, I believe by now she because uh, grandma's report. By the way, we used to call grandma almost every day to ask her how is it going. Yes, what is it? she has so, really improved. According to her report, she sleeps well at night. She doesn't wake up in the middle of the night. Except the first day, it was just the first day she woke up at the middle of the night, it was not and just she was searching grandma's breast. So it's like. Uh, twice, twice yes, but the twice. first day she woke up three times. The second yes. day she woke up just once, yes. and after that day. Has always been, yeah, yeah. been sleeping. She's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Very good girl. So, um, we want to say thank you very much for sharing your experience. This is the first time we have a mother or a female uh, on this platform because right. the platform is fabulous fathers. Yes. Uh, but we thank you very much, so much, and very very plenteous for coming to share your experience with us. Welcome. All right. So to you, I want to present you this wonderful gift that you will never forget in your life. Mm. It is a gift of a brand new, Ooh. unused mm. before, <laughs> cha cha tie rubber. Mm? I want to present you a brand new handshake. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I really appreciate. Thank it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we draw the curtain. We want to say a very big thank you to you guys. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Help us beg them to subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. If you we have not begging. subscribed, please subscribe. Please. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so that every time we drop a video, you get notified and you can come straight down to watch it. Share this video with your friends, family members, well-wishers, any nursing mothers you know, any nursing fathers you know, any fabulous person you know, share the video with them and make sure you like our content, drop comments, ask your questions, we will answer them in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.